hello guys welcome back so in the last video what we did is we did created a data provider and we passed the data provider we typecasted the data provide a uh, hash map to object because we were passing the object array and we simply printed the ha uh, hash map data and it was working correctly right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the data from hash map into respective test steps right so let me uncomment this part okay so yeah so in this part number seven of this data creation test cases which belongs to basically the basic framework of this test automation selenium part we are talking about extracting data from hash map and pass it to respective test steps uh okay so how to begin okay so very steps let's go step by steps Cl clicking on motorcycle not required right no data is there for clicking on motorcycle if i go to test data sheet okay you see my actual data is starting from vehicle screen right so from the second steps enter vehicle data if i go to this method here you see we are hard coding the data right we don't want to hard code this data so instead of passing bmw as a hard coded value over there what i want is i want to read this specific value honda from this specific place all right and how can we do is uh, okay who is calling this particular method this uh, at this place i am calling that method right so what i'll do is whatever test data i have created over here let me pass this test data as an argument to this particular method enter vehicle data okay and let me accept it over here so i'll say hash map of type uh, string as a key and string as a value and I, let me give the name as test data only okay or the other approach could be you know if i make it as a static if i make the test data itself as a static and I, if i put it into my uh, object repository then i need not to pass this data as well but let us pass it because since we already accepted it over here let us pass this okay now i passed my test data to this particular excel uh, sorry enter vehicle data uh, test step and it is with name test data okay now how to retrieve the data from hash map let's say instead of bmw i want to read the data from as i said from this particular column right so what i'll do is what is my name of my hash map is test data dot there is a method called as get method where i need to pass the column name what's my key name and my key name is vehicle make so let me pass this that's it uh, what next i want to get the model okay for model i'll be using something called as vehicle model right pretty simple so i'll be using data from my hash map like this okay so i'll complete this part and uh, i'll pause the pause the video and i'll get these things done before that before i do that uh, now for clicking on next button no data is required okay but for entering insurance data we would be needing the same hash map right so i did pass the same hash map and let me accept it as a hash map okay again it should be of type string and value should be of string and let me give the same name as test data okay so this name uh, could be different okay but since this is specific to this particular method once this method get executed this will get deleted from the memory so that shouldn't cause any problem for us okay now here i want this first name right so what i'll do is i'll say test data dot get and what is key for my first name so these other things i'll enter when i pause the video so let me get this key for first name and likewise right so likewise i will complete all these steps as well and let me go to this select check boxes okay so for that under hobbies you see i have something called as insurance hobbies right and there i am having two hobbies which are separated by comma right and here you see i'm i i, I tried with comma separated value and it did work right so i will get test data dot get and same read right so again these things i'll complete uh, after pausing the videos because i don't want to waste the time in video uh, again for enter product data i'll be doing the same thing because i want to again pass the data from my hash map let me uh, do hash map 
of type string and string and name is going to be let's say test data again same thing whatever data product start date and all this stuff i am going to get okay let me do this quickly because there are only four values so this is my start date test data dot get this insurance sum is sorry test data dot get insurance sum damage insurance is test data dot get test data and finally under optional product test data dot get this okay so here i did past complete data great now let me come to the next steps into my end to end test okay so for this next button also i don't need okay so i am done with most of the data filling part now let us come to the validation part so for validation part what i am doing is i am checking some expected i am i am having some expected data then i am having some actual data which i am getting and then i am trying to assert this right so now instead of writing these things into three lines what i'll do is i'll simply update this particular statement assert dot assert equal now what is my actual data actual data is coming from this particular statement okay let me copy this statement and let me put it now let us go plan by plan okay so first i'll be doing it for gold okay so let me do it for gold okay and what is expected one how to get the expected price again by using test data dot get and what's the key key is going to be price validation underscore gold pretty simple right and i can pass some message let's say uh, pricing for gold plan is not matching that's it okay pretty simple right so these two are unnecessary steps now right so likewise i will repeat these steps four time for my four different plans second plan is uh, silver let me check what i have in my sheet okay yes yeah, silver and again i just added silver and let me put here silver and here as well silver okay next plan is my platinum plan okay let me say here platinum and my final plan is going to be ultimate okay this is my platinum plan and final one is my ultimate plan okay here as well id i do need to change it so this is my platinum and this should be my so i'm doing lot many things into one line okay should be good great and once i'm done with that what i am supposed to do i am supposed to select the price option based on this test data sheet right so i will copy this particular key and instead of hard coding this data now what i'll do is i'll say test data dot get this right pretty simple this should work okay now what i'll do is again i'll pause the video for a few more minutes and let me complete other stuff and i'll resume okay so i'm done with uh, all the data enter what i did is i went to each and every page and i did fill all this data just to retrieve the data based on actual key my actual key is present in row number one okay uh, one point you need to be sure whenever you enter this date then this should be in string format right for example uh, in order to make it in string format you should have like you can what you can do is you can right click and you can format cell and you can select it type as text okay this is something you need to do otherwise it will enter some uh, different values okay just uh, because this slash work as a except ca uh, escape character right so this zero will be considered as escape right so it will not work correctly okay so now that's it i think i'm done what i'm doing is now uh, okay let me do one more thing instead of printing this hash map what i'll do is i will 
add the data into my report right and you already know how can add it test dot log and i'll say status as the status dot info and what detail i want to add it uh, test date i'll say test data used for execution is okay and i'll say test data right so this particular hash map will get added into my report okay and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much so i should be able to begin my test execution okay so remember what we are doing is we are executing these three steps in fact even if i let's say simply copy paste this particular step and do some modification in my test data it will be taken care automatically i did not i have not uh, hard coded anywhere telling that okay there are three rows okay we are doing all the things as dynamic you see get row count get column count everything is dynamic right so we did not to worry about right so yeah i think that's it uh, and one thing what I did last time is in my test space, I did commented out uh, driver.quit, okay, for my analysis. Now what I'll do is I will make it up and let me execute all three test cases now, okay. Before I execute, let me close this Excel and uh, what it says, okay, no, fine. Let me execute it as testengine.xml okay so it is going to take some time because there are three scenarios let's wait okay you see i'm able to enter the data correctly and uh, Let's wait. Is it failing here? No. Okay, great. It worked. Okay. So likewise, it will work for three scenarios. Let me pause. Okay, great. And if I go to console now, all my three scenarios are executed and that's it. Three tests are run successfully. If I go to result of running suit, you see all three tests. Okay. They are failed because there are some assertion error because the prices are not matching and that should be fine okay because my aim is not to show you the, the test cases are passing my aim is to show you okay the test cases are running okay and it should get reported into my uh, report as well let me refresh and the latest one should be this and you see three test cases are failing and white is failed it says assertion error pricing of for gold plan is not matching expected as per excel spreadsheet i was expecting 238 but found it is 696 okay and you see the screenshot as well in the screenshot it is telling me that okay uh, where it is 696 for gold plan but i was expecting it as a 238 okay so that's pretty much and you see it has logged this part as well okay i'm executing test case with this specific stuff so whatever messages you want to log maybe you can log it after each and every step that you can do i just tried to log only one message okay so yeah i think that's pretty much so what we did is we covered all of the topic over here starting from uh, introduction to data driven to completely development of this particular framework okay so yeah i think that's it from this particular video in next very short video i'll create one more very short video where i'll explain so currently what we did is we executed three different test cases by taking only one at the test annotation because we did use a data provider but let's say if you remember i talked about one of the approach right so if you don't want to go ahead with this approach and if you want to pass the data from hash map directly how you can go ahead okay in fact i can tell you uh, here itself okay let me repeat this particular uh, class okay what i'll do is i'll create a copy okay let me go here okay now i don't want this data provider fine i don't want this object as well okay and i don't want this data provider as well okay fine 
okay i don't want this as well okay so how i am going to read the data i am going to read the data directly from excel object excel dot get data in hash map and let's say first i'll get the data from row number one right so let's say if whenever you want to run the first uh, data from first row you will run something like this right and let's say i'll name this test case as let's say volvo so that i'll understand this is for volvo right i'll repeat the same stuff and let's say then i'll make it as get the data from row number two and let's say this is for ford ford right that's pretty simple everything is same right now when we are going to use the second approach uh, in the first approach like basically everything was same right starting from step one to step n everything was same but let's say some something like okay from step one to step uh, seven it is common but last two steps are a bit different right so in those kind of stuff you will be using this particular approach okay so i think that's it from this video point of view yeah, stay tuned. Thank you.